What's going on everybody, it's Shaky Balance here. I'm back with another X-Plane 11 video. Today we're going to be covering some of the uh, main menu options that there are in X-Plane 11. Uh, the first thing we're going to be talking about is your location customization. Now I'm sure everybody's already known uh, that you can change you know, the airfields that you're at, uh, whether you want to be at Chicago O'Hare or LAX International, both are international, um, or anywhere else in the world that you have downloaded with your X-Plane 11. Uh, one thing that people don't know maybe is, let's see, if we type in O'Hare, sure we've got Chicago O'Hare selected, uh, we can customize that, and from here we can select where we start. Now we've got a nice map, this is Chicago O'Hare, there's a nice map of it, and each one of these circles are different terminals, runways, gates, things like that that we can uh, spawn our aircraft at. Now you can look through the list or you can select on the map if we want to start on say 09 left. But that's going to spawn us on hold short of runway 9 left. It's not going to spawn us on the runway. Okay you can click on the runway and you can see uh, you can spawn exactly where you want on the runway uh, at one end or the other. Um, and then you can do you know you can do a ramp start or you can do a runway start now there's also special starts uh, things like small oil rigs frigates carriers helipads get me lost I haven't tried that one before but that sounds really fun just spawn out in the middle of nowhere and find an airport and uh, land there or do a formation flying that's really cool even shuttle landing because you know there is a shuttle in this game now going back to the main menu uh, as far as I know, that's everything with location in your airfields that you can spawn at. The next is weather. Uh, you can pretty heavily customize this. There's a lot of options. The first thing I'll point out is weather mode. Uh, you can do it manually, which is this screen here, or you can match real world conditions, which is real time at the real location, exactly how it is. Now it'll take a moment to download the weather. For me, it's just finished. Uh, we've got things like at... Uh, what is that? 286 at 94 knots. That's just over 30,000 feet. At 20,000 feet and below, we got 81 knots of wind. There's 39 knot gusts uh, just off the ground. It's, what, 10 mile visibility, no precipitation, no storminess, 49 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's 29.95 inches mercury. Uh, that's very cool. There's thermals, there's bodies of water, the wave speed and height everything that you would ever need uh, for real world or you can manually do it and manually set all these things um, and there's there's a lot of stuff to adjust if you want very high pressure you can do it if you want low pressure you can do it on to the next section is time of day now sure you can move the slider around you know you want it to be midnight you want to be eight in the morning um, or you can customize it, put in the exact month, the exact day, hour, and even down to the minute. You can put your uh, Greenwich Mean Time offset, or you can track the real world time. Right now, it's March 8th, 11.50 a.m. in uh, Central Time. Uh, the next section we're going to cover is customizing your airplane. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about is the livery. Usually I fly around with Qantas. I just I kind of like Qantas airline. Uh, you can do Delta. You can do KLM. Oh, sorry. You can do KLM. Nice blue with a little crown. Or you can do the Qantas livery uh, with the red tail. Uh, from there, you can access your weight, balance, and fuel. You can put it in metric or in US. You can mess up your center of gravity all that you want so that you can you know have your center of gravity way up to your nose so you're always nose down your entire flight if you want to do something weird or have it way aft so that you're always nose up you can adjust your payload weight make yourself way overweight or way underweight adjust what kind of fuel you want and it's gonna uniformly adjust between all fuel tanks and whenever you do that you can see your flight time goes four hours and fifty minutes to nearly empty say eighteen minutes gives you your exact weight over here and a you know almost a pie chart uh, percentage 
of uh, how close you are to being maximum weight. If you restore your defaults, it puts you at about half fuel tanks everywhere, puts your center of gravity proper, and your payload weight at 12,435 pounds. And that's going to give you about two and a half hours of flight time. The next thing that I want to cover is not many people see because it's so small is this checkbox down here. Start engines with running. Defaultly, it's selected like this, so you start up, your engines are already, you know, ready to throttle up, ready to take off. But if you want a little bit more realism, uncheck the box and try starting it without your engines on. Okay, well that's all the main menu stuff I think I can cover today. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching, and like the video and subscribe for some more X-Plane. Thanks for watching.